Good morning, it's Christmas Eve and really late, it's, I don't even know what time it is, 12 o'clock. I slept in quite deliberately because I want to try and sleep off whatever this bug is that I've got. I've just put the kettle on for the first cup of tea of the day. So today I need to ring up the chemist and try and get my prescription delivered for the rest of my antibiotics. But it's not urgent because I've got five days worth already. And I need Izzy's prescription delivered but that's not urgent either, really. I, it could come in a couple of weeks and it would be fine. I need to wrap up a few last presents and uh, I think that's it really. Oh, I'm trying to get the vlog up for tonight if I can. If I feel ill I won't so I'll just sort of gradually do a bit here and there and rest in between I think, yeah. Here we go again. The Covid test is here. Uh, let's go sort this out then. It's like Christmas came a day early. I remembered to wash my hands first this time. I didn't last time, but I did this time. Right, I think I've got to register it online before I proceed. Okay. Excuse the dishevelled appearance, but you know, extenuating circumstances and all that. <coughs> Anyway, okay, what do I have to do first? Find your nearest priority post box. Ah, oh, headache. I think this has changed, actually, from the last time. I noticed another one has sprung up a bit closer to home, which I'm very pleased about, because it means I don't have to walk through the middle of town whilst potentially contagious. Before you take your sample or register your kit, check collection times at your nearest Royal Mail priority post box. You need to post your completion test kit no later than one hour before the last collection. Weekend collection times may differ from weekdays. Do not take your test on a bank holiday. Take it on the following day instead so it can be collected on time. Is Christmas Eve a bank holiday? I don't think it is. I think it's business as usual. Right, I'm gonna do that. Well, I've hit a stumbling block already. No more collections today for any of my local post boxes. Don't know what to do now. That's it, and there won't be any tomorrow, I'm sure, because it's Christmas. <coughs> <coughs> I could check in the morning, but... Um, oh, well, I've got a feeling by the time I can actually do one, it'll be too late for the test to be effective, because it's got to be within five days, isn't it? Like, it's got to be within four days, and to be honest, the symptoms came on day before yesterday, so this is already day three. I think we'll just never know if it's COVID or not. I'll just have to isolate. What else can I do? That's it. <laughs> Okay, that's the end. I'd say it was a bit of an oversight that the whole procedure was allowed to go ahead to this point of me receiving that because what was the point? Because there was no way I was going to be able to do the test in time. The next collection is Boxing Day. I could try doing it then, but it'll probably come back negative even if it was positive. Well, there's nothing I can do. Helpless. Just keep isolating for the full 10 days. I guess. I've worn myself out now and given myself a headache with the exertion. <laughs> oh, it's right by there. Oh, right by there. My nose is going down though. It's starting to look a little more feminine today because it was like a massive great big hooter yesterday. <laughs> it's feeling so much better than it was. It was definitely infected. I want to edit my video. Well, I have edited it. I want to just go through it all and make some tweaks. I'm not really feeling very well. Uh, uh, the head is throbbing, you know, when you can feel your pulse in it. It's doing that. <laughs> I had a flash of inspiration and phoned up the, the helpline for the COVID testing and he said you can do the test up to seven days after symptoms come in. So I don't know why it says four. The website, because I very nearly just didn't bother to do that test altogether, so I can... Oh, I can wait until Boxing Day and do it then. I better check the collection time so I don't sleep through it. Because apparently um, it's Sunday collection times on Boxing Day. Right, I'm going to... Um, yeah, I might try and edit a video a bit, but if I get too knackered, I'm just going to go to bed, I think. It's about a quarter past three, and I've decided I'd like a nice hot bath, and I've put some nice smelly salts in it as well. Nice rose-scented ones. 
Oh, that's it, my head bending over like that, that is. Ow. I've got Pippa on, I've just paused her to film. I've had my bath and I've just been pottering around getting dressed and sort of watching Pippa's video from Christmas Eve last year. That's the Worms Eye View channel because I posted mine on from last year and she's posted hers as well. So it's really cool to see the differences. What a difference a year makes, eh? After I had my bath, I just couldn't move. I was flaked out on the bed in a towel. <laughs> bit undignified obviously didn't film it and I just thought a can of coke would revive me now so I called to Izzy who's feeling a lot improved and she went and got me one out of the fridge so that's what I've been doing but I've um revived myself a bit now with the help of caffeine and fluid <laughs> I paused Pip also because I wanted to do the hair drying and I didn't want to miss what she was saying <laughs> As you can see, I've changed into clean pyjamas. I got out of one set and got into another. <laughs> Do you ever want to just keep the hair dryer going just to warm up, even when your hair's dry? My hair dries really, really quickly. Like, I don't know, two minutes or something. God, can you hear my stomach? <laughs> my stomach's growling because I haven't really eaten and I'm not hungry. But... I want to get the vlog up for tonight because I think all I need to do now is the thumbnail and stuff and um, I think I can do that but I think I should eat first really. I'm feeling a bit better now, seriously, um, yeah, can of coke's perking me up. I know I should have water, I should drink water. I don't really like tap water, I like mineral water but it's expensive and I don't know, I'd rather drink coke and I know that's bad for me but you know, I've got some vices in life haven't you? No, okay, you probably haven't but I like to. <laughs> right, I'm gonna move Pippa over there now and watch her while I'm brushing my hair and sorting it out. There she is, look, she's having a tidy up. <laughs> Coming for a bit of speed. Off she goes. <laughs> Last minute, Prezi wrapping. Oh, I need to do some of that. I'm now down to dog gift for my sister's dog and my mum's dog. Some things are the same every year. On the veg prep. Lee's doing his favourite veg prep, aren't they? And I'm just That's reheating this for my lunch. Cost nearly four o'clock. I better get that vlog up, haven't I? I'll eat this and then get my thumbnail and all that done. Mm, there's not much of it. Might need to have a second meal afterwards in an hour or two. It's ten past six in the evening now. I've just had a lovely three quarters of an hour chat to my dad on the phone. I've still got a headache, but it's actually got a bit milder since I got off the phone, which is good. Now we have a little bit of a plan for tomorrow now. At 10 a.m. we're going to video call with IB. He's going to open his presents in the video call that are from us. We're going to open the ones from him and maybe some others as well from each other. Perhaps we'll see how the time goes. And at 12, we're going to have a Zoom meeting with my mum and dad. And they're going to open their presents from us. And they've sent money this year, but Izzy's got one present that I bought with dad's money. Yeah, we sort of conspired and chatted about it secretly. And I went out and got it. As you might know if you watched the Going to Cardiff video, because I got it that day. So she'll open that on camera. And it's a very nice one. It'll be her favourite thing, can absolutely guarantee. He's been especially generous this year, I think, you know, probably because of the situation and that and not being able to see her in person very much. So anyway, she's going to be delighted. So you'll find out what that is in the next vlog. <laughs> so Christmas Eve, eh? I'm actually feeling really Christmassy and cosy apart from being ill. I'm only moderately ill. I'm not like at death's door or anything ill. I'm fortunate in that respect. So a lovely Christmas tree. We can eat the Santas today. I wonder if Izzy's had hers. Oh yeah, hers is gone. But I just haven't felt like eating it. I was looking forward to it in a very kind of childish and infantile way. But Santa, I just... The thought of eating you is making me feel a bit queasy at the moment, so uh, I'll hold off until I fancy having a bite of Santa, I think. My nose is feeling so much better, and it's feeling more of a nose shape. Like, the crease was, like, flattening out yesterday. I was, like, running my finger over, and it just felt kind of flat. But the crease is coming back now, so it, obviously the swelling is going down a lot. 
and it's not feeling hot like it was yesterday. <laughs> I was like, Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer yesterday. That's, that was my festive uh, look I was going for. I have a few more presents to wrap up. They're down in the cellar, so I'm going to bring them up to my room and do them on my bed now, shortly, in comfort. And under the tree at the moment, I've got all the things from the wish list. There's loads of things under there. And there's something from Pippa in Worm's Eye View channel as well for Izzy. So I think I've got 10 or 11 things under there. I'm feeling very, very loved. So I thank you very much for those. So I just need to make sure I've covered up the addresses. And tomorrow we will also film ourselves opening those and put it in the next vlog as well. So excited for that, feeling so loved. Thank you so, so much. My headaches come back. It's just like suddenly pounded um, whoa, out of the blue. Oh, and I need to update you about the bedroom wall. If you watched yesterday's vlog, you will know that water was pouring down it because we had torrential rain here in Wales yesterday. But today, ta-da, pretty much dried up. No more came in. Look, gone. Just like that it was obviously just the angle it was blowing in at so i am pretty pleased about that i'm going to wrap up the presents in this bag now look got my wrapping paper from ib and i've got what's left of the sticky labels oops that's my vlogging night falling down but it's still lighting us up so we're okay um it made me jump though <laughs> having palpitations i'm already speaking of wrapping up i'm gonna wrap up this vlog now if you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our stories do feel free to hit that subscribe button if you liked the video please give it a like it really helps the channel to grow and i really hope that you have had a lovely christmas and i'll see you in the next one bye